Taylor Swift made her latest Saturday Night Live appearance one for the books. In one night, the singer collabed with Pete Davidson, delivered an epic 10-minute performance, and reunited with her BFF, Selena Gomez. Like, how lucky am I? First, let's focus on the T-Swift collaboration we didn't see coming. The songstress teamed up with Pete for a musical sketch roasting new SNL writers titled Three Sad Virgins. Now, the song didn't start out as a diss track. I had this idea where maybe we could do like a music video about how we're all like best friends and how we're like boys. Think we would be in it with you? Yeah, you guys would be the boys. Oh. The names are Martin, Ben, and John. Oh. And they work at the show I'm on. They just don't have any swag. What? They're tall and weird and sad. Yeah, that dream for the guys quickly turned into a nightmare, especially when Taylor joined in. And none of them have the guts to take their shirts off in front of a girl. Yeah, that's accurate. True. Tay did double duty, also appearing as the show's musical guest delivering an epic 10-minute performance of the new version of her song, All Too Well. And cheering her on backstage, her bestie, Selena. Taylor shared their happy reunion on TikTok. Oh no, my bestie is a bad bitch. <laughs> it's so good, let's just see it one more time. Oh no, my bestie is a bad bitch. <laughs> it's been a big weekend for the Grammy winner with the release of her short film for All Too Well, which she directed. Plus, Tay also dropped the re-recording of her album Red, which now features, get this, 30 songs. It's maximalism. <laughs> it's just a lot of a lot. And when E.T. spoke with Taylor last week, she couldn't help but gush over her fans, who she says made this whole thing a reality. This was something that started out as a really hard thing I went through. The fans are the people who turned it into something very empowering, where when they, they were just saying to me over and over again, we want to listen to your versions. If you redo it, that's what we'll listen to. So if they hadn't, if they hadn't done that, I don't think I'd be having this amazing, exciting experience of being here and you're here. And there's a short film of one of the, my favorite songs I've ever written. And so that's all the fans doing. And so this is really, I just wanted to think about what could I do over the course of one week that would make them as happy or try to make them as happy as they've made me.